Hello and welcome to York's Cast 2. I'm Hannah and I'm going to play Max Payne 3. If you haven't played the previous games, all you need to know is you play a man who has lost his wife and child to some crazy mafia people. You brought down a massive narcotics drug operation and you did a load of stuff involving finding the reason for your wife and child's murder. Anyway, in this one, you play Max about eight years after the uh, second game. Now this is a game by Rockstar Games. Obviously, you know them for Grand Theft Auto, but you also should know them for L.A. Noir, which was another game I played that I really enjoyed. Just moving into my new place. This place is great, really comfortable. It does look really nice, actually. I'm just going to get settled in. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. Let's do this, man. Let's get on with our lives. Put on the telly. There's nothing on. Never is anything on on the telly. What are you looking at the bag for? No, like I said, it was a long time ago. Oh no, don't look at the photo, it's going to be a bad memory. Let it go, seriously. Oh, he's gone, he's out. And he's back. What's in the bag? Definitely more my style than Panama. Or Hoboken, I guess. No. If I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. Right. Okay. I've got some booze. I oh, don't mix it with drugs. Crazy bastards. Have you not heard about this? It's bad. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. Are you really? I really needed a new start. Oh, careful. Just throw your pictures everywhere. You might need that. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It's, it's certainly... beautiful. It certainly ain't New Jersey. Whoa. It's my new life, just like you said. Don't throw that off there, eh? it might hit someone. Oh my god, what are you doing? You're crazy. Listen, if you think I can still oh do a job. Um, it's going a bit trippy. Lose. We're having a flashback. Very funny, ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. Okay, when you're having alcohol hallucinations, it's probably a good time to stop drinking. Just saying. That's now bottle number two. Oh, and we're having a flashback to the grave, which is, I think, where all this pain and anguish has come from. Since he did find out, but it didn't really help him. And you can't really forget it, can you? Oh no, Max, don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay, Max. Probably should go to bed. Or, or sit down. Yeah, okay, sit down. You're right. No, don't have any more. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, you've, you've finished that one already. We'd established that. Where are you going? What are you doing? Put the alcohol down. Oh, hello. What is this? 
So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. Oh my gosh. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. That's ridiculous. I've suddenly changed into a skinhead. The hell? Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. Oh, look at me, I'm hardcore. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I ain't got a sister. Oh, there we go. There's me with a lovely haircut, I must say. Something rotten in the air. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. Oh, that's so beautiful. Now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. As always. Hey. Hello. You all right? How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never it's my it's not a cocktail, dude. Jesus. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. That's how it works, dude. Don't you know these things? <laughs> That's funny. He's a funny guy. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. It's always for the kids. They don't say which kids. This place is a nightmare. Just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. Okay. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. Yeah, but the family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with the Well, this is never gonna end well. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. Great. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti gang sort of thing. Okay. I can't remember his name. Well, you're really helpful, mate. Thanks. That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, Tommy really? Tommy. With that oh. nose? <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a co capital do for Ricky Martin look alike. What the hell? Oh, excuse me. Oh, God. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I got this. Apart from the names. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco. A local oh, okay. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She is fabulous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. Oh my god, he dances like a weirdo. I can't deal with this. This is too many people at once. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know. But I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. That was crazy sushi back there. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh, we are in trouble. No, take the gun. Calm down, calm down, calm, oh god. Oh my god. I'll come and get you, don't panic. It's fine, it's fine. Pass off! What was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second. And now there were two idiots at the wheel. Uh, is that us, the two idiots? Clear! Uh, they did that really well, though, professionally and all that. They just, they came in, took them and left. That was, that was quite good. My own safety, on I was that sort of level. Trophy wife or not, 
I'd said I would protect the girl. Oh, great. Okay, so that's my mission. Oh, my God. Uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, bitches. Oh, yeah. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. Okay. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. It'll be okay. Oh, shit. Uh, now put her down. Put, put her down. Don't be stupid. Let her go. Let her go. Come on. Oh, crap. It might have been stupidity or drunkenness or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Well, her husband is paying my wages, so... Oh my god. Uh, there we go. Son of a bitch. And I landed in the pool. Hat five. Tranquila. Tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. And I didn't get blood on her dress, so I get extra points. No. Yeah. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Goddamn Rodrigo. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, because you're bloody useless. Fica tranquilo. Rodrigo, where are you? Ooh. Maybe he's dead. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. Yep. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Mm. Ah. What have you done with him? Okay, take cover. Gut wound. Yeah. There we go. Whoops. Uh, let's just go around here. This is the lifts. Whoops. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Do 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 do. I had an accident there. Jesus. Shoot you in the ass. Die! Dragging Bronco along would slow them down, but not much. What are, you, what are we doing? Why are you crouching? Oh! Yay! Oh my god. That was insane. Crazy, crazy bastard. What's down here? No, nothing. Okay. Cool. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Maybe. Okay. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard. Yeah, back, yeah, damn dead. straight. Oh, good God. Alive. Don't Almost put the shotgun down. There we go. It's one down. Yeah, bitch. They weren't far ahead. Once I opened the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan. I don't want to come up with a plan. I don't like plans. Oh, there aren't any shotgun bullets. That's annoying. Okay. I got this. I have so got this. Do 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 do. do. Oh, a picture. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Yeah, kind of makes it easy. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Maybe. Hey! Oh, hello. Uh. 
Go. Go down. There we go. Job done. I am the assassin bodyguard man. Kevin Costner would be very proud of me. Take out those goddamn tires, dude. Yay! Rodrigo! I'm here! Yeah! This is how we do it. Mr. Bronco! Hello. Oh, ow. Thank you. Ooh. There we go, and... Oops. There we go. Now stop flailing, or you're gonna get yourself shot. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. Wow, that is a nice car. Come with me. Are we getting in it? It's okay. Oh my god, that is the best car. They're not... How are they... How are they still alive? Sorry, I shot them all in the head. This is great and all, but could I have this in uh, English? I guess, I suppose, your Max Payne, you don't understand, so it does make sense to not give you the language, but... Mm. 